not sure if it's a good idea having this halo around me, this, this helmet thing going on. Anyways, for the last about six or so months, I've been on a real mission to find the perfect camera backpack. The perfect backpack for all my filmmaking needs. Spoiler alert, there is no perfect backpack, but I have narrowed it down to two that I really, really like using right now for different purposes. And now traditionally, I've used camera backpacks like this Low Pro, Pro Tactic 450, I think this one is, and it's fine, but it's too deep. It doesn't need to be this deep. It doesn't really fit that much stuff. And it looks like a camera backpack when it doesn't really need to look like a camera backpack. Also, there's a, there's a spider in here. Matt, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a spider and cobwebs. Uh, that shows you how long ago I used this backpack last. I also had this roller backpack that uh, I like. It kind of turns into this carry on style, which is really handy. Sometimes like a wedding, you don't want to be carrying all your stuff on you and getting sweaty and stuff. You just kind of roll it along, really handy. I like this, but again, it looks like a camera backpack. It's not very nice. And nowadays we have a ton of bags that are both very functional and also much nicer looking. They don't look like camera backpacks. And more specifically, these are the bags that I've been looking at over the last couple of months. This Peak Design bag. This one also from Peak Design. Shimoda, Douchebags 1, Douchebags 2. And finally, Peter's new backpack from Nomadic. Now this took a long time to really test these because you do need to actually use them a little bit to figure out if they are good for you, if they're gonna work for you, and also for different situations. For example, if you're gonna travel, you usually need a different backpack than your everyday carry backpack that you're gonna use every single day around the office, around the city, all of that stuff. And first off, let's talk about side axis versus full open back in this case, front. So this douchebag backpack opens up and you have full access to all of your stuff. Whereas this Peak Design bag, you can't just open up the whole thing. You have to open it up from the sides and you have side access to your bag. You also have this top area, but you can't get access to all of your stuff at once. And to me, I've always personally enjoyed this open style because I can see all of my gear at once. I can open it up, I can see everything, I can access everything all at once. I don't need to open this and then open another thing or open one side and realize that the lens is actually on the other side and then I have to close that and then open. I just wanna be able to open up my bag, see everything, have it super accessible. So for me, this peak design style of bag where it's side access doesn't work. But other people love this design and it is a really, really high quality backpack. I do have to say that. And it's really nice looking also. I really like the design, the quality of this peak design bag. But for me, it just doesn't work. So I'm banishing this one. I think uh, Tyler already claimed this bag. Tyler, you can, you can come and grab this. But when it comes to this open back design, there's a lot of options. We have this Peak Design bag, which is a really, really high quality bag again. We open it up and we have this little camera cube where you can have all your camera stuff. You can get rid of this cube and then they have some other pouches that they, they sell. Now to me, this bag is really, really high quality, but for its size, it doesn't actually fit that much stuff because this camera cube ends up taking up quite a bit of space. Um, and then I'm not a big fan that you have this extra flap and I would tuck it in the back, but that's where the straps are. So I can't just like tuck it in here. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of having to open up this main thing and then I gotta open up this thing. It's just a lot of opening up and it's not that much space for my gear. It's still quite a bit, but for the size, it could hold more stuff. So this is a great option if you want a backpack that's not always a camera backpack. You can take out this uh, camera cube and it's gonna work like a normal backpack. Uh, so it is great for that. But for me, uh, it's too big for how little it holds in terms of camera gear. So it's not in my top two, but it is a great, great bag. Then we have this Shimoda bag, which again is really high quality, really nice. Has a full open back system. Again, camera cube here. Now you can see I haven't actually used this one much, even though it is a really, really high quality bag. It's more of a hiking, traveling type bag than an everyday carry. Um, and for me, for traveling, 
I don't really need a bag like this. This is more of a bag where you wanna fit more than just your camera gear, which typically I only use my camera gear bag as my camera bag. Um, but this is more like you wanna put some clothes in there. It has this extra pouch on top that you can open up and have more stuff there. This is more really meant for if you're going out for a, a two, three day or a week hike somewhere and you kind of need to fit a lot of stuff into your camera bag. Uh, that's what this Shimoda bag is really great for. But again, it's not what I need right now. In the end, I ended up with two bags. One is was kind of like an obvious choice. I knew it was gonna be a really good bag. And then the other one is, was a total surprise to me. I did not expect it to be this good. And that is this douchebag's backpack. Now this thing I was using for my whole daily vlogging season, uh, it was like 26, 26 days straight or whatever. I was using this backpack right here. And this backpack is really interesting because it doesn't really look like a camera backpack. It's pretty nice and sleek and stylish. Um, it has the camera cube here. You can fold in the top flat into the back. So it could be like this, but I like to fold in the back here. Gives the bottom a little bit more cushion and it's not in your way when you open up the camera backpack, it's, it's open. When you open this up, you have access to all of your stuff instantly. Um, I can fit my camera here, I can fit my microphone, a couple lenses, and I still have this extra space, sometimes for a drone, a t-shirt, other extra camera gear. This thing fits a lot, and that's because there's really no excess stuff. It's really thin. It almost feels a little bit cheap because it's not super like thick, but I actually really like that. I don't want a really, really thick bag that's heavy and doesn't have as much space as it could. For example, the Peak Design bag. Um, this has a ton of space for how small this backpack is. This is actually the smallest backpack out of all these bags that I've tried. It's a good balance between functional and still looks good. And it has multi uses. You can take this uh, camera cube out and it can be just a normal backpack. It's really great. I'd say the only downsides are that is because it is a little bit floppy because it's using all of the space for gear instead of having padding and stuff. A lot of the times things end up falling out of the camera cube, especially the way that I'm doing it. They end up falling out and so when I open it up, um, I'll have a battery or a cable or something that's gone back here. So that's the only really downside that I've found to this backpack, which is really, really surprising. I was not expecting this backpack to be so, so, useful and handy. You can still fit your 15 inch laptop in the back here, which is great. Um, it's got these side straps so I can put my Gorilla Pod there perfectly fine. I can literally fit uh, a camera, lenses, a drone, my laptop, Gorilla Pod, and water bottle all inside of this bag. It's great. It's really small, but really lightweight and great. There's no really extra weight to this thing. So yeah, this this bag was the biggest surprise for me. And then they, they came out with a, a, a little bit of an upgrade. This fancier Benny model. I don't know if they sell this one anymore, but I think they're, they're selling this um, size, which is, it's a little bit bigger than this last one I was talking about. It's a little bit more rigid. The sides and stuff are a little bit more rigid. It, this one, this special edition one is definitely a lot more fancy too. And it also fits a little bit more. It has this bigger camera cube that can actually also turn into a backpack by itself. I also like how easy these camera cubes are to take out on the douchebag. They're just these Velcros that, that go into the side. So this, camera cube actually becomes a backpack also with these straps if you want it to be. Um, so you could travel around with this camera cube inside this backpack and then take it out and you'd have essentially two bags now. Maybe you wanna buy some uh, souvenirs and bring them home. Well, now you have more space for that. Um, really smart, smart design. And sometimes you just want a little bit smaller of a bag and this camera cube is literally as small as it gets. Now I haven't used this bag as much for a few reasons. One, um, again, I'm having the same issue of the floppy, um, this camera cube part, it doesn't really fold in here. Um, and so then I have two of these and I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. Um, and then the other thing is aesthetic. This is a beautiful bag, but um, it, has, it has douche bags on the side here and it's in gold and it's really flashy and that's, that personally, for me, that's just a little bit too much, uh, but it is a really, really great, great bag. Uh, 
Great job on this Benny. Now we get to my other favorite bag and this one is not as much of a surprise. I knew that this bag was gonna be incredible. This is Peter's Nomadic bag. Now this is a, a bit of a pre-production, not pre-production, but it's not the quite the finished model. Um, and I've been using this camera backpack for a good few weeks. Has it been a, a month now or more? Um, and this backpack is really, really great. If you need a backpack that's a little bit bigger, you can fit a lot of stuff and great for traveling, I would highly recommend Peter's backpack. And I think it's, I think the Kickstarter is ending soon. So if you've been eyeing this thing, make sure to get at it real quick because uh, yeah, that Kickstarter is ending. I, I honestly don't even know where to start with Peter's bag because there's so much in it. Peter's such a, he's he's got so much attention for detail. So there's a whole bunch of things, but uh, let's just start with the, the main thing for me is that it's open back. Uh, Check out the the skull, of course. Uh, yeah, Peter just Peter just has those those little details down to a T. Yeah, I'm struggling. Okay, all right. So I have my EOS R in here. I have a lens. I have a microphone. I have all my action camera, my 360 camera, GoPro stuff in here, like so. I have batteries in here. I have memory cards. And then I have some SSD external hard drives and some caps and stuff. I kind of just put random stuff in here. There's also a pouch here. You could put some cords or something like that in there. Um, there is also a laptop sleeve here, of course, which is really, really nice. Nice and soft in there. Gonna protect your laptop. And then comes a really, really interesting part of Peter's bag is that it has this little pouch. Right now it has all of my Mavic Air drone stuff. So whenever I need a drone, I just take this bag, toss it in there. I have all of my drone stuff always in here. But this bag also turns into a little backpack. So kind of like the Benny edition with the camera cube. This right here turns into its own little backpack. Again, if you just need a lightweight bag or you need two bags in the future, um, this is really great. So if you're going on a hike or something and you don't wanna take this whole big heavier bag, uh, you just have this nice little bag that folds up into this tiny pouch. So you're not really wasting much space either, which is really brilliant with this fabric that they use. It's not taking up too much space. So this is like, Next level thinking uh, by Peter. Well done, good job, Peter. Uh, I wasn't expecting anything less from you. You also have a nice little pouch here for your Gorilla Pod or your water bottle. You have side access to your camera. So if you are one of those people that like side access, this is both full back and side access for quick access to your camera. You can grab it from the side there, which is really nice. I'm not, again, as big of a fan for that, but some people love, love the side axis. They just love being able to turn the bag and then just grab your camera out of the side. But with this bag, you actually have even more space. You have this whole section here where you can fit clothes or extra camera stuff, your laptop charger, uh, toiletries bag, I forgot that this was <laughs> in there. Uh, you could put your toiletries in there. So when you're traveling, you have a lot of space. In here, you can have your passport. I have mints, a granola bar, and some Advil because you never know when you're gonna get a headache. I always get a headache when I'm traveling. So this bag, Peter's special, uh, special edition nomadic bag, is really the perfect travel camera backpack for me right now. It is a little bit big and heavy for everyday use, so I do still like using this douchebags backpack, but if I'm traveling and I need to carry a little bit more stuff, I love Peter's bag. It's super comfortable, really high quality, and he's just thought of all those little things like that extra backpack. Yeah, it's just really great having uh, another fellow filmmaker design a backpack the way that we want it. Uh, and I think Peter came really, really close to the perfect camera backpack. There's always downsides and it's never gonna be perfect for all sorts of things. For example, it's bigger and heavier. So if I'm running around the city, I don't necessarily want a big, heavy camera backpack always. And that's when I love something like this douchebags backpack that's a little bit smaller and lighter. So again, there is no perfect camera backpack right now. But if I had to choose two camera backpacks, it would be Peter's bag for traveling and the douchebags for 
for everyday lighter carrying of camera gear. So that is my run through of all the camera bags that I've tested over the last six months. And uh, I'm really curious to know what camera backpack are you using right now? I feel like there's so, so many to choose from right now. I didn't even get close to reviewing all of the bags that are out there. There's so many and uh, companies just keep sending me these bags. Now I have to do something with these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these bags because I do not need this many bags. But yeah, I hope this helps you to narrow down what backpack might work really well for you. Uh, maybe it's one of the Peak Design bags, which are great bags. Maybe it's one of the douche bags or maybe it's Peter's new Nomadic bag. Um, remember that Kickstarter ends, I think in just a couple days. So if you're watching this as I'm posting this, make sure to hop on that if you haven't already. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what bag you're using. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys later.